Hi everyone, welcome once again to Timelet Sipo Clap Training Videos. This is a very small introduction about iSCSI targets and iSCSI initiator configuration in Windows Server 2008 R2. Through this video, we will be able to see how you can configure iSCSI targets and how you can use it on client machines. Most of you will be knowing what is iSCSI, Internet Small Computer System Interface. It's, it's a protocol actually which works on the IP based networks for creating storage networks and uh, it's, it's a simpler than the normal storage area network that we use, the SAN networks that we use which mostly uses more costly fiber optic connections and very complex um, environment and very complex configurations. Uh, this is a very less expensive software which is actually free from Microsoft that you can use to create a software target for your clients on the network so that they can connect to a network storage using the LAN itself. The use of iSCSI uh, is to create a storage area network which is um, ideal for uh, internal networks like in a LAN and uh, it works on the IP protocol and can be installed on a running Windows Server operating system. You can download this from Microsoft website. Uh, just Google it, you will be able to see, get the link for the Microsoft website and uh, you will be able to download it. So let's see how we can, uh, we can go and configure this software SCSI and we will see how we can connect to that software SCSI and how we can configure the disk on that. This is the Windows Server 2008 R2 machine where we will install this iSCSI target software and we will use this as a iSCSI server and we will connect iSCSI clients or iSCSI targets using iSCSI initiator to this machine. So uh, we can configure this. Um, before that let me show you some disk configuration in this. I have two disks here, disk 0 and disk 1 and in disk 0 I have only one drive called the C drive and in disk 1 I have created a volume called E which I will completely use for creating the iSCSI disk. So after this kind of configuration according to your company needs you can install the iSCSI target software which I have downloaded from Microsoft website by double clicking on it after it is extracted it will open up a web page which is actually from that extracted files itself and uh, there is an option for installing the software and uh, I will click on iSCSI software target x64 because because this is Windows Server 2008 R2 and it's, it's a 64 bit operating system. So this website will, automat will automatically find out which version of operating system you are you are using like it, whether it is 64 and or, or 32 bit and it will show uh, the the available um, version of op version of the software here so I can click on run and here it will start the installation you can click on next agree the license agreement click next show the path for the installation click next I don't want to join the program customer experience improvement program right now I don't want to use the Windows update I'll just click on install so the installation is complete I can click on finish and I can close this window here and if I go to start I can see Microsoft iSCSI software target here click on that to open the MMC console for configuring the target. Here we have two options iSCSI targets and devices. So the first thing that we have to do is to create the devices means you have to add virtual hard disk into that drive which you want to use for creating targets for your client machines. So I will click on create virtual disk click next and here I can show the path where I can I, I want to create the virtual hard disk. In the E drive I will create a virtual hard disk called disk one dot VHD and click next. The total available space is 39 GB. I only want to use 20 GB of this disk. I can I can specify that approximately 20 GB. I'll click next. I can give a description of this disk if I want. Click next. And here we have to specify 
the iSCSI targets that can access this virtual disk. So right now if I, if we click add, there are no iSCSI targets here. So we can click next and finish. We have created a virtual disk now. Now we can add iSCSI targets. So these are the client machines that will be able to connect to this virtual hard disk or any virtual hard disk that we have configured inside this iSCSI target. So I'll right click and click on create iSCSI target. Click next. iSCSI target name. You can give the name of the server if you want. You can give whatever you want but it would be better if you if you would give the name of the client that will be connecting to this server using this target name. So I'll give win server 3 click next now it will ask me for iSCSI initiator identifiers these are actually identifiers which will be created by the server itself uh, means the client machine the client server itself for for connecting to this iSCSI target so we have an option for giving IP address instead of this IQN identifier because because finding out the IQN identifiers or or, or creating the IQN identifier from here it is very difficult so you can specify the IP address of the client machine which will be connecting I'll give the IP address and uh, give the IP address of the client machine which will be connecting to the iSCSI target this is the IP address of my other machine the IP address of my server this iSCSI server is 192.168.10.10 so this is the IP, IP address of a, a server which will connect to this iSCSI target click OK click OK click next finish so I have added an iSCSI target and an iSCSI device now right click on the disk that we created and uh, click on assign or remove target here you will be able to add the iSCSI target that you have created click OK okay so now we are ready to go uh, we have created a iSCSI target uh, iSCSI client we have added an iSCSI client and we have added a virtual disk which will be accessed by the client so now we can move on to the next machine the client machine and we can see whether it works or not so I am in the client machine now um, this is server 3 and uh, local area connection IP address is 192.168.10.15 the IP address that I have given as the client for the iSCSI target and uh, to connect to the iSCSI target from here I have to click on start administrative tools I have iSCSI initiator here this is not iSCSI target sort of software I am using here I will be using iSCSI initiator so here I can click on iSCSI initiator and it says that it, it should it should uh, start the service I'll click yes so this is the iSCSI initiator properties I can add and remove targets from here so I will add the target that we have created already you can type in the IP address of the machine 10.10 .10. you click on quick connect it says that target has been discovered and it is connected you can click on done and uh, now I can go to discovery if you want whether it to see which all targets has been discovered and uh, volumes and devices here we do not have any volumes added till now but if you click on auto configure a volume is, will be added automatically so this is the volume that we have created and assigned to this particular iSCSI initiator or this machine that we have configured as a client on the iSCSI target we can click on ok now so the configuration is complete now we can go and check whether this is working or not so I will take the computer management and go to disk management and I can see one more disk is added to this computer this is the disk that we have added using uh, the iSCSI target iSCSI initiator and uh, I can right click on the disk and click on online and click initialize the disk click OK and the disk has been added now I can right click and create a new simple volume next 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 
perform a quick format click finish so this disk and this volume is residing on the iSCSI target server and uh, I am connected it I have connected it using iSCSI and it is working perfectly so this is how we configure iSCSI initiator and iSCSI target for creating an a network storage using IP you already know that there are uh, several different types of um, iSCSI softwares that are available online you can you can use a lot of free softwares that are available on on the internet to download and install on your windows machine and you can create software targets and you can add and you can use their clients to connect connect to that targets but this is one of the simplest step that you can use to create an iSCSI environment on your network and you can use it for creating database servers and file servers for any softwares that you are using like SQL or any other database softwares and you want to create a network storage for them uh, you can use this very simple tool to create a iSCSI storage so I hope uh, this has been informative for you and I would like to thank you for watching this video and for more video and online trainings please visit www.timenet.co.in and uh, visit our facebook page www.facebook.com slash cpoclab to know more about our uh, cpoclab facility which is a real-time network facility where our customers and students can experience real networking thank you once again for watching